Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Strength and Honor Women. My name is Terza Andrews. For those of you that are visiting for the first time, please uh, put in the chat box your name. And when you join, um, you can put a one in the chat box if you have uh, visited this site or this um, our first, this is your first time to our webinar. Hello, Aaron Israel, how are you today? As always, you are the most faithful and committed member of our Strength and Honors group. We're greatly appreciative of you and your time. We're gonna go right into our um, PowerPoint presentation. We had a couple of things that we need to fo uh, follow through with today. And uh, for those that come in after I've started, I'll let you in as soon as possible. It's very important to be prompt. Erin and I were waiting, and so we had to go right ahead and get started. So I'm going to screen share and uh, get started. We wanted to um, make sure that we announce our winner for our engagement, uh, our first year of engagement. And so uh, if you would give me just a moment, I'm going to share my screen. Let me get my PowerPoint uh, pulled up. And uh, I guess um, we'll do a separate um, 2021. I'll just let you all know about what we want to do for the upcoming year. And then we'll end it all out with the thank you. Uh, I'll get a few words from Aaron. Uh, if you don't mind, Aaron. I'm going to unmute you at the end and I'm going to ask you uh, to give people um, um, a little bit about your experience with um, SSM, not SSM, Jesus. <laughs> That's my digital education uh, uh, platform I invested in for teaching me how to run my nonprofit and my um women's group so uh i'm struggling a little bit but guess what we live we learn we grow we've only been in operation as far as our nonprofit for about six or seven months and um so we want to make sure that you all understand and i hope you can hear me let me make sure i check my uh my volume make sure i'm up i yeah. can hear you very good thank you so much all righty. Um, I'm going to um, ask you to mute yourself, Aaron, and at the end, I'm going to um, interview you uh, for our group to let you be our voice box for our group. So if you would, mute yourself, and then after I finish my presentation, I will um, give you a few questions and give you opportunity to tell everybody who you are, what you do with the uh, Strength and Honor Women's Group, and then we'll talk about our projections for the upcoming year. Our year ends March the 12th. It starts March 13th is the first day into the new year. Um, and we'll be talking about that, okay? So hold on one second. Let me get my ducks in a row. I've been busy ever since I got up this morning. And so um, <laughs> if you all could just bear with me real quick here. All righty, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Where is our... Strengthen on them. When we started back in June 11, uh, 2020, with our nonprofit, we started our Strengthen on a Women's Group. Um, I guess it's been um, uh, two years now. Our first projected year was to, excuse me, to um, actually uh, have 100 women in our group. We, we met that goal and we ended up with 101 coming into the new physical year. And so um, I just wanted to uh, let you all know that um, we're moving forward. We have people from all over the world that is connecting with us. And I'll show you that in our next to the last slide. So we have about 14 slides, they're very short. 
And if you would just bear with us as we um, move forward with our presentation for Strength and Honor Women. <clears throat> okay, again, I'm gonna share my screen. Again, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Strength and Honor Women. We're gonna talk about our vision for the new year. And um, so if you would bear with us so that as we record this um, uh, presentation, the women that go on to our site, um, uh, well, our YouTube channel, we have a playlist in uh, Phases of Life, Inspiration, Entertainment. Phases of Life International Ministries is our uh, go-to place for our uh, group. We have a playlist there in Phases of Life, Inspiration, Entertainment on uh, YouTube. And so all the things that we covered, we covered uh, how we started our nonprofit. We talk about how to get a nonprofit. Uh, how we started with Strengthen Honor Women. We talk about our events. We planned our events. And so um, I tell you, it's um, uh, um, very challenging. In August, I actually started, and I'm still looking at my screen share here, y'all. Excuse me. Um, um, there we go. <clears throat> and so um, we started actually um, working on our, um, our strengthen our women's group after I invested in, um, uh, this platform that helps me brand myself, brand out, teaching me how to brand our group, brand myself, getting the word out, teaching me how to interact with the ladies, engage with them, teaching. I have the ability to teach them teach them uh, how to brand themselves. And so once we get a, uh, a, a, an idea of what the women want to do, we'll be able to uh, move forward with helping them uh, create their own businesses. Um, this year, um, coming year, we'll talk about uh, the things that we want to do there. So Erin, keep that in mind as you uh, take notes. Erin um, is my personal assistant. Uh, uh, for our nonprofit, as well as for um, the Strength and Honor Women. She has been faithful. She has helped me in so many different ways. She's like my daughter, uh, spiritual daughter. She loves it when I say that. <laughs> She's also been my number one fan on our uh, YouTube channel. And so uh, even before I even knew who Erin was, um, I knew about Erin, but I started, I mean, I'm like, who is Erin um, Israel? Erin Israel. Is Erin Israel? Aaron, I didn't know. I didn't know who Erin was. I didn't know about her name until after I commented on something that she had put on my YouTube channel. Very inspired, very uh, outgoing, uh, beautiful young lady, very focused, no children. She works really hard. She's looking into getting her own home. Um, like all of us, we've had struggles. She may be able to tell you just a minute of her testimony um, right in our um, interview. So we're gonna get started. We only have a few minutes here to share with you. So again, uh, welcome to Strengthen Honor Women, uh, our vision for the new year reach and those of you that are connected you know what reach means and if not we're going to go over that uh our sisterhood is a beautiful kind and dessert our sisterhood is be is beautiful our women are beautiful kind and deserving of everything that they work hard to obtain and so this is our message to the world is that we're here to make a difference. We're here to show you that nothing is impossible, no adversity, no hardship, no obstacle is too difficult for you to move forward into your life, into your destiny, into your purpose. I am a living example of what can happen if you persevere. What are you gonna do? What came to my spirit is what are you gonna do if nobody shows up? You're gonna persevere, you're gonna keep going, you're gonna connect with those that are uh, passionate about life and making a difference in life. And so that's what we're here. We're here to encourage women that no matter what you go through, a lot of people, you know, they don't realize that, you know, the energy that you put out into the world is what you're going to get back. And I just can't wait to see that stadium full of women on another platform. I have women all over uh, just really connecting with me. 
And it's hard, to, you know, they say in your own home, you know, that's where your struggle is. You know, I help other people build their dreams. And, you know, we go to uh, speaking engagements and stuff like that. I've been asked to be on radio shows. I've been asked to be on um, live platforms. And it's been an amazing experience because it's, it's the dreams come true. Dreams are coming true. Um, for those of you that are connected, you need to get connected and, and begin to sow the seeds that you want to be returned. And so the fact that I give 100% to you, guess what? God has given me 100%. He's causing other people to sow into my life. And I'm very, very excited about that. So uh, again, welcome to Strength and Honor Women, our vision for the new year to reach. Our sisterhood is beautiful, kind, and deserving of everything we work hard to obtain. The next slide is... Uh, uh, Miss uh, Aaron, yes, ma'am. Welcome, strength and honor women. Again, we want to welcome you. Your admin team is Aaron Israel and Terza Andrews. Our sisterhood is not a destination, but a lifelong journey. We got to begin to look at each other and support each other, encourage each other in a way that's long lasting life extended we want to be able to connect with each other in a way in a way that we support each other's dreams and goals and you don't want to give up on your dreams okay you don't want to give up on your dreams you don't want um anybody to walk out of your life you understand you want people to be there for you to be able to connect with you in a way um you want to people i'm looking at this thing here um, I hope, can you see me, Aaron? Can you see me, Aaron? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, I can see you. Okay, is it me or you on the screen? You, and oh, I just okay. in the corner. I seen the uh, PowerPoint, but you minimized it. Oh, very good. Okay, I'm going to go back to the parent. PowerPoint. You can mute yourself. Thank you, dear. Okay. So anyway, uh, you want to begin to give out that energy that you want in return. Okay. So again, um, um, our uh, admin for Strengthen Honor Women is Sharon Israel and Teresa Andrews. The next thing we wanted to talk about at the top, our top is a conversation. It's going to be about the arts principle, our mission, our vision, our goal, our bottom line, an, uh, our announcement of our engagement winner of the year. Thank you so much for, for participating in that, ladies. That's very important for the growth and the unity of our group. All right. Think like a queen. Never be afraid to fail. Failure is just another stepping stone to success. As we pick up the pieces of our lives, may we never give up the hope of walking in our greatness. Aaron, never give up hope for walking in your greatness. Thank you so much. I believe that God has great things in store for you and I appreciate your dedication and commitment, which gives you the opportunity to have someone in your life just as committed as you are, okay? You remind me of myself. I had a best friend, no matter what she did, I was on her tail coat. If she needed me to assist and direct, I was assistant director. If she needed me to help with wardrobe, I was helping with wardrobe. If she needed me to give out flyers, I gave out flyers. If she needed me to keep her kid, I kept her kid. That's why I developed this Strengthen on a Women's Group is because I want to help women understand that if we support one another in times of not just hardship, but good times, you understand? We want to be able to just walk away and have a moment to ourselves, an hour to ourselves and stuff like that. But guess what? You got to begin to sow those seeds. There's women that are married, but they're bogged down with the children because they don't have a friendship uh, uh, with a woman or somebody that they can say, hey, you mind uh, watching the kids for me while I step away for a moment? You understand? what I'm saying? We all need to get to the place where we are, what we desire to see in the earth. The Oz Principle, I hate I uh, <laughs> let somebody use that book. I love the book, but I wanted one of their books, so we switched out. But I hate I did that because the Oz Principle is one of the first books that I read concerning business that really blessed me. And I, I uh, got that book for free from one of my pastors from the uh, on, from Sunday church. 
And that's one of the things that uh, I can say thank God for because that Oz principle is very, very important. If you don't have that book, you need to invest in that book. You need to write that down, the Oz principle. The Oz principle explores how people in business, not just uh, business in an actual building, but your home-based business. As you know, I'm a home-based business owner. I'm a multi-business owner. I own more than one business. Excuse me. And so um, my responsibility to these women is to teach them how to do the same thing. And so they may be a little smarter than me. They might be able to kick that thing off and move a little faster than me. But the, the thing about it is, is that you want to explore how people in business suffer from the same feelings of anxiety and helplessness that beset the characters in The Wizard of Oz. It shows how to break through above the line with an attitude of accountability that, ex that empowers employees. Okay, if you get to the place where you have employees and, 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 and by the grace of God, we will, because that's one of our future endeavors, okay? Uh, Future uh, to empower employees to overcome problems, excuses, and biases to achieve uh, in invaluable results. You want results. The whole principle of having a business is that you have an idea, you want results. You, you understand? Even though we have a nonprofit, we still want results. We want results. We want people to give into our foundation at phasesoflife.com, P-H-A-Z-I-Z-O-F-L-I-F-E.com. We want people to give so that we can have the um, school of faith, the uh, K through 12 school. We want the uh, exercise dance school for obese women and children. We want to be able to have a, a community center where we can have events and things of that nature. We want to be able to get funding. If you know, if you want to these strengthen out of women and you know how to uh, do grant proposals and stuff like that, we have a whole system uh, to, to be able to send out grants and everything. Got some challenges with that, but that's going to be all right too. We just have to make sure that we persevere through every obstacle, okay? Why? Because we don't want to make excuses for why we are not where we want to be, but we've achieved every goal that we set for 2020, okay? And as we move forward, we're trying, you know, just like we had obstacles of getting started and we accomplished everything that we wanted to accomplish in the year 2020, we're just trying to do it in a more excellent way. In 2021, we'll let you know the things that we want to do in 2021. Um, so we want to do that and we want to achieve results. We want results. We want you to walk in your greatness, ladies, and begin to uh, get in where you fit and do what you need to do to help bring this vision to pass. Why are you in this group? If you're not going to participate, then you need to excuse yourself. No hard feelings, but we're here to make a difference. We're here to impact the world. We're here to impact the world. So make sure you do that. Why use the Oz principle? Why? Well, it's a way, as with any organization, there will always be obstacles to overcome. One being that the illusionary trap of victimization. Woe is me. How many people have you heard? Woe is me. I can't do this because they did that. And you know, you keep reflect reflecting on the negative things, and you got to reflect on the positive things. So one being the illusionary trap of uh, 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 victimization, but with the Oz principle, okay, we can have the blueprint to help us, okay, as a group become more accountable to our thoughts, our feelings, our actions and results, okay? Now and for the new year ahead. So we want to be able to go into the new year with a different mindset. We want you all to participate. If you're not willing to participate, you shouldn't have put it on your uh, uh, Q&A. Your, your, when you came in, there were questions you had to answer. If you didn't answer those questions, then you still need to rethink your, your position here at Strengthen Honor Women. Either you're going to participate and take this uh, vision to the next level because I don't get paid for this. I do this from the passion of my heart. You know, say it's a vision that the most I gave me. I use, utilize my time. When I'm not working on my business that make money, I work on my business that don't make money. It's not about making money personally. It's about making money for this organization to leave a legacy for my children, my children's children. They always have somewhere to go, 
okay, if they're in need. We feed the homeless, okay? We feed those that are less fortunate. We, we clothe them, okay? And we give them toiletries, okay? Everybody needs deodorant and soap and washcloths and towels and all kinds of stuff. Uh, clothes, shoes, socks, whatever, two brushes, two paste. People are in need. And it starts with this organization. This is the passion and the mission of, of Phases of Life. And Strength and Honor Women are being sponsored <laughs> by the very organization, Strength and Honor Women, uh, 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 Phases of Life International Ministries. We're being sponsored by them. And so if you're gonna participate in this, in this uh, Strength and Honor Women's Group, we need you to partake, okay? And thank you, Aaron, for always giving, always thinking, always, you know, pushing, you push me. Okay, when is our next meeting? Okay, what, what are we doing next? Okay, that's very good. Busy as my life is, I still have to, you know, squeeze that time in for this right here, cause ministry, you know, this is my number one passion. But I need to also make funds to be able to sponsor um, Strengthen on the Women. You understand? Very good. So our mission, using, um, uh, using that Oz principle, you know, to be able to encourage people to take it to the next level, right? Without excuses, no excuses. Find an answer. Where there is a problem, there is a solution. And you have to make sure that you find a solution for every problem, every problem that you have. So our mission, our mission is to restore, encourage, aspire, change, and heal families by empowering those in need with a positive self-image, building a healthy mindset with positive input of the word of God via the King James Version, okay? Initiate activities. Provide opportunities to serve others throughout the community and travel around the world and encourage all nations to do the same. For God's house will be called a house of prayer for all people. Okay? All people. There's, everybody's somebody in this uh, Strength and Honor Women's Group. There's no big eyes and little U's in the Strength and Honor Women's Group. We respect each other and we'll go. I hope, hopefully, I put our rules inside this. <laughs> inside here. If not, you can go back to the Strengthen on the Women's Group and click on the rules of the group. Do that because it's very important. And it's very important that I make sure that you all understand that our mission, our vision, and our goal has got to line up with our bottom line. So whatever activities that we do, it's got to line up with our mission, our goal, <laughs> and our vision for this group. You understand? The bottom line, that's it. If it don't, if it don't line up with what we're trying to do, then guess what? It's got to be deleted off the post. It's got. Listen, it's a lot of women. You you may get irritated with me or whatever, but we're doing things based on biblical principles. It's in the letters that I sent via email. If you not, if you don't have the email, uh, if you haven't been receiving emails, you need to get me or add me in your email address so you can get updates okay if you haven't been viewing the videos on our facebook group because i won't always get a chance to to see y'all live so i'll post up on 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 the um in the group so you can watch the videos okay it's important if it's too long for you watch 10 minutes now 10 minutes later and then 10 minutes before you go to bed get it in your system so you can understand where we are and where we're trying to go we need people that's ready to work you know um there's not many people in the vineyard that's ready to work we need to get busy we got things to do places to go listen we're going to be judged according to things that we do and it's got to be from a pure place not not to be receiving nothing. that's why i did it without pay because i don't want people to think that i'm doing this to get paid no everything you give is going straight to the nonprofit that that sponsors strengthening out of women okay and it, um which is strengthening out of women's a part of that nonprofit phases of life international ministries incorporated we are uh, 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 exempt tax exempt and we're also um we're also a nonprofit where we're trying to help people so our next slide is our vision our vision is to see okay to see the restored the encouraged the aspired the changed okay healed individuals come together as a unit to promote and demonstrate a positive unified image each living with a sense of purpose 
uh, while fulfilling their own individual purpose, okay? Everybody in our group, you have your individual um, dreams, goals, and ambitions. We don't know it. We don't know what you do. Y'all know what I do, okay? Because I post it in the group, but you need to start taking pictures of you doing something that you do, put it inside the post so we can begin to get to know you, get to know, like, and trust you. Okay, when you come to, to, to our city or we come to your city, we want to come together like we know each other face to face. I want to see your face. I want to see you and get engaged with you and know you a little bit better so you all can get to know and like and trust each other. Okay, building that sisterhood. Okay, very good. Our goal. Our goal is to network, connect and create an environment that support, supports mental, physical, intellectual, spiritual, and emotional well-being and connecting, okay, and networking with other organizations, which I've been doing in our state and others across the country, which I've done, creating future career opportunities that causes economic change. WTA Life, uh, WTA Life Solutions, uh, dot com, economic change. You want to have money. See, we're going through a pandemic, but you don't have to not have any income coming in because we have a source that you can generate income. Okay, WTA Life Solutions. Okay, I've invested in, in a, a platform to help you earn income at home while we're going through this pandemic. It's going to rise, but guess what? You need to start finding a way to earn income from home. Okay. A Boria Prime, we got that. We got AI with that. You understand? People that's into forex trading and stuff like that. We got a place for you to be able to build an income from home. We have connections. Guess what? There's people that's really making money in forex. That ain't my thing. Okay, I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but they're doing it with a system that's getting them paid. So if you want that information, you need to uh, put some in, get the information out of the uh, description box because all of this information is going to go to the YouTube channel. Okay. Also, let me let me reiterate. Our goal is to network, connect, and create an environment that supports mental, physical, elect, intellectual, spiritual, and emotional well-being. And connecting and networking with other organizations in our state and others across the country, creating future career opportunities that causes economic change that provide hope for a better future for families and generations to come, providing solutions that makes an everlasting change. WTA Life Solutions, that's what we're here for, okay? That was our mission, our vision, and our goal. Now, the bottom line. The bottom line is this. Okay, let me stop sharing for a second so you can see my face. <laughs> the bottom line for our group, okay? Our bottom line, our bottom line is to reach, which I stated in the very beginning of our PowerPoint presentation, okay? What does reach mean? Put it in the chat box. What does reach mean? Put it in the chat box. You need to memorize that. So whenever you put your post up, you need to think about that. Is what you're posting gonna restore somebody's mind, mental cap uh, capabilities? Is it gonna restore them to themselves? Is it going to encourage them? Encourage them to be better, do better, to walk in their higher self? Is it going to encourage them to treat everybody like they want to be like they want to be treated? Is it going to encourage them to be better than they were yesterday? Is it going to encourage them to make better life uh, 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 choices? Okay, you need to make sure that whatever you do within Strength and Honor Women's Group, that it's going to restore. It's going to encourage. Is it going to aspire them? Aspire them to change. Okay, see, create change, change. We want change, change the trajectory. That's the path of somebody's life. Let, listen, 
I know a lot of us are, are, are on different spiritual levels, but as you encounter with strength and honor women, we're putting stuff that we can read out of the Bible into the chat. Hopefully, if you have not, and you're just giving your opinion, it's deleted, it's taken off. If it's more than one post with the same thing, it's being deleted, it's coming out. Check to see who posted what in the in the in the on the um on the uh post um what is it called um what is it called the feed on the new news feed on the feed check and see okay who posted what because the one that's going to get credit is the one that posted it first we give out engagement points right you have the opportunity to earn either cash, uh, a gift, or whatever. Okay, so today the person that won our engagement will receive a gift and and, and a, a, a cash card. So that person is not here today. So once she reaches out to me, if she's seen the video, she'll know that uh, she won. Okay, we're not going to tell her because we want everybody to do their own due diligence. If you want to know what happened you need to connect to the group so if you if you don't listen to the video you won't know who won okay unless somebody tell you and i don't want nobody telling nobody who won okay if you went and listened to the video the presentation about what we're trying to do or projecting to do in the year 2021 then we need you to go ahead and uh take part in that okay all right so, um, and the last one is help heal. We're trying to help heal the women from every nation, north, south, east, and west. So the bottom line is what? We want to reach, restore, encourage, aspire, create change, help heal women from every nation, north, south, east, and west. The 2020 vision was accomplished. We fed the um, uh, we fed, fed those that were less um, for, less fortunate. We visited the elderly. We walked for cause. We fought, walked for uh, lupus this year. Uh, the cancer walk was uh, um, the lupus walk had passed before we had got started, and then we had the cancer walk for. Um, ovarian cancer and children's cancer. And the money that we raised, uh, we sent our donation to um, uh, um, what is it? St. Jude's, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And they sent us a certificate, even though it's in my name. <laughs> I wish they would have put it in uh, uh, Strengthen Out of Women, but they put it in my name. They gave us a certificate for uh, our donation. So we appreciate that. Recognizing of outstanding support is helping uh, in recognition of outstanding support in helping St. Jude's Children's uh, Research Hospital keep its promise to children and families battling cancer and other deadly diseases. Okay, so thank you, Ms. Myrtle Thomas. Thank you for the certificate. Thank you so much. That's one of the things that I did when I was, when it was just me. And I figured, you know, since we are now a nonprofit, we'll give back to another organization. Okay. And so last, well, not last, hold on. I projected 2021. This is where I want um, Miss Erin to come in uh, as soon as um, uh, I finish this. We want to talk about our project, projected 2021. Um, so I projected 2021 new vision. We talked about doing events in the park. We talked about doing a stage production. So anybody's interested in acting, you need to send your um, auditions to facesoflife at gmail.com. Um, this is a nonprofit. So if you want to display your talent, you want to be seen, you want people to recognize you, you want talents to pick you up because you never know. I've been through John Casablanca and I know that they look for talent all the time. Okay. So if you want to be a part of a stage production that's connected to uh, an opportunity for you to be seen, then you need to uh, put bring your auditions to send them to Faces of Life 
at uh, gmail.com, P-H-A-Z-I-Z-O-F-L-I-F-E at gmail.com. Uh, we talked about um, book sales for fundraising. We put it on our nonprofit uh, website. Uh, the books that you purchase, um, uh, you're the key to someone else's blessing, the, the power of being woman. And it was another one I put in there, uh, um, Master and Single Parenthood, any of those three, three books that you buy off of Amazon.com, those 10% of those funds are going to go back into our nonprofit to support what we have going on there with Strengthen Out of Women, okay? Uh, we talked about fashion shows. Uh, we want to be able to do fashion shows and we want to do more webinars. And uh, we're looking to, today, I looked into getting grants uh, for... A, a, a space where we can audition and stuff like that. And so uh, to be able to have a space where we can go to and host our auditions and stuff like that. I've connected with a church. I have not heard, with, heard from them yet uh, about our auditions, but uh, we are going to start our table reads where our webinars, where we'll uh, have virtual uh, table reads. Okay, so everybody show up uh in the webinar you show your face because we want to see your mouth your expression and all of that doing the table reads so drum roll our engagements for the year this past year our engagement for this year strengthen all the women uh 2020 results uh you see how i spread that out <laughs> um our results our top cities were the number one city was Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> New York <laughs> City, Chicago, <laughs> Houston, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, what is that? Uncha uh Uncha what is that? Un Anchorage, 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 right? Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, London uh, in the UK, United Kingdom, right? And Concord, North Carolina, we have two. So thank you all ladies from these cities. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your commitment. What city are you from, Erin? Charlotte, North Carolina. I can't hear you. Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Yes, yes, so Charlotte was number one. It was the number one city, which it should, because I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I appreciate you ladies for connecting. I'm looking for one of y'all to come for, or a couple of you, at least three. I mean, you, any of y'all can 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 apply, but uh, we're looking for new officers coming into the new year, and so um, it will be a drawing if it's more than one person wanting to be the secretary, more than one person wants to be the treasurer, more than one person wants to be um, involved with events, more than one person that wants to uh, deal with preparing um, uh, our giveaways and stuff like that. So just make sure that you put, you know, we can have a numerous amount of people that want to help with giving out food and stuff because Man, we was toting all that stuff. Uh, my husband, we had a volunteer, uh, another gentleman who volunteered, he's not even a woman, but he volunteered to help my husband and myself to uh, feed the homeless uh, back when they had the tent city down there. They have now um, gotten rid of that. Um, so I don't know where they are now. I heard they were in hotels, uh, according to a news uh, report that um, they were, being kept up in the hotels, which is really, really great. Uh, so our top uh, contributors to our page, engagers, Cheryl Thomas, Crystal Wells, Faith. I think that's Hal, Hale, um, uh, Quelly Queen, Lori Dawkins Sinclair, Tiffany uh, Israel Williams, Cheryl uh, Jane Lane, Cheryl Lane, uh, Grace, uh, O-N-U-E-B-U-R, looks like, uh, or B-U-N-W-A, something like that. And then Ms. Zita Slowinski, thank you all so much for contributing to our engagement. That 
is very powerful because we had no engagement. So <laughs> we appreciate you all for uh, in our first year, we did, we barely had any engagement. And now look what we've done. Our first six, what is this? Um, it's been since June, July, August, September, August, actually August, September, October, November, December, January, February. And now we're in March. That's seven months that we've increased our engagement. Just think what it's going to be when we all get together and begin to network with each other and share each other's stories. Uh, thank you in the past year, I lost my um, my sister. Thank you for all of you that engaged during that time. I appreciate it uh, so much, but our top contributors again was Cheryl, Thomas, Crystal Wells, Faith, Quella, Lori Dawkins, Tiffany, uh, William, Cheryl uh, Lane, Grace and Zita Lewinsky. And no, we didn't put Aaron on there. We know you praying for us, sister. You praying for us every single day. And we love it because prayer is necessary. Amen. 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 I want to, if you could, like, um, at the end of the presentation, like, when we get off of here, could you just give me the top engagement? So I'm writing these in my notes. Okay. I'll give you the top engagement. I didn't put it in here. Um, on the on the board i actually was working on it and then i ran out of time so um and you know what i got the top engager and i took a picture of it and i got it in my phone and i'll send it to you aaron okay but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell it to the very end of this presentation okay 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 so the last <laughs> and you said it when you get to the end so thank you all for all your engagement it matters you matter and we get exactly what we deserve when we work and we put the time in we get exactly what we deserve we put the time in when we went to uh, uh the homeless shelter we went to the homeless shelter we went to visit the elderly we did the walk getting our website out there um um, mentorship. We helped with mentorship. Young lady wanted to write her book. Guess what? I helped her with that. Um, we went out there and fed the homeless in downtown Charlotte. We went to, um, we started our nonprofit, Basis of Life International Ministries. Uh, we also uh, got into digital education to help all the women in our group well, that's connected to us to be able to start their own home-based business for as little as $125. Unbelievable training you how to brand yourself, teaching you a step-by-step -step method of what to do to create your own business. I love it. It's working for me. And I've made uh, four figures since I started that digital education. So you can too, okay? So anyway, we did everything that we projected to do in our year, year 2020. And we want you all to be involved, to get in involved with what we're doing in 2021. Again, my name is Terza Andrews and Erin uh, Israel is my personal assistant and she is also the admin for our group. We say stand, stand for power, stand for grace, stand for, for something that's greater than yourself, okay? We love you, God bless you, we thank you. And uh, y'all wanna know who the winner is, right? You want to know who the winner is? I shouldn't tell it. I shouldn't. Yeah, tell I'm about to say, you said it. <laughs> you just said I'm going to watch the video. Just say it. Okay, but I still require that y'all watch the video. Her name is Vernetta Drazilla Layton Hayes. Hey. You are our number one winner. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Vanetta. Listen, you need to contact me uh, ASAP and uh, let's get you your gift for winning our engagement for the year 2021. God bless you all. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. I'm going to do a separate interview with Miss Erin about her uh, experience with um, uh, Strengthen Out of Women and our nonprofit. I know I kept you a little longer than what I anticipated, but I thank you so much for joining us. We bid you peace and love always. God bless you. Um, am I still sharing? <laughs> um, God bless you. And um, we look forward to seeing you all next time. Let me share this real quick.
I don't know if I showed it to you or not, but thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Faces of Life Inspiration Entertainment. My name is Terza Andrews. It has been my pleasure to be with you tonight. Please take a moment to click on our Strength and Honor uh, Women playlist so that you can hear everything that's been going on within our organization. Get involved. Check our description box to find out how you can get started with our group, how you can also get started with starting your own home-based business, how you can get started with uh, uh, beginning to make money with your trading. Oh my goodness, we have an amazing system for that. My husband is connected with that. And because he is my head, I honor him today. I love you, honey. Got a birthday coming up. Woo woo, the big five up. Woo woo. woo. <laughs> God bless you all. We thank you so much for joining us here again at uh, Faces of Life Inspiration Entertainment. My name is Terza Andrews. It's been my pleasure. Good night. Good night.